there is an enormous plastic cleanup here on Hadanga Fjord, which is near Bergen. Now, Hadanga Fjord is the world's third longest fjord. It stretches around 100 miles inland, but because of its geography, it catches an enormous amount of plastic, which is swept by the Gulf Stream of far away as from the UK, France, and the Netherlands. And it is in really remote areas that this plastic just rests up on the shore. So they've got dozens of boats, hundreds if not thousands of volunteers today, all sweeping up the plastic along the coastline. But I'm on a boat because they know there's a lot of plastic that's on the bottom of the fjord, which can be several hundred metres deep. They're going to be using an ROV, um, a remote-controlled uh, submersible that will go down under the water. And you can see at the front here there's a claw where they can actually attach onto uh, lost fishing gear, pots, nets, ropes. Now, all that is not only plastic, which will slowly degrade in the water, but it also acts as a, a trap uh, for fish. It still catches fish, even though uh, there is no fishing boat that will ever come and collect it. It's called ghost gear. So it's a double whammy. Not only is the plastic, but it's killing marine creatures. So they want to remove the plastic, remove the nets as, as swiftly as possible. Now, they had a report that on the other side of the fjord, uh, from a, a, a fishing boat, that they had lost uh, gear over they will go and retrieve it and deal with this problem. Now, all this plastic is going to be taken back to base and, and dealt with. Uh, and I know last year they removed 23 tonnes. They're trying to remove uh, many tonnes more this year, a constant process. But they have the added incentive this year that not only, of course, is it uh, removing an ugly stain on such a beautiful fjord, but they have the first scientific evidence uh, that cleanups really work, that they reduce microplastics by 99%. Uh, within a year of the cleanup. So there's a dramatic benefit for the environment and it gives some kind of hope that we will deal with this plastic crisis.